Hello everybody, it's Janari and welcome back to my channel. So for today's old school runescape journey, we'll be aiming to get our proselyte armor. So in saying that, I do have a couple of requirements, required quests to do, so that's what we'll be doing. And yeah, so since the last video, I have gotten a few more levels here and there. I haven't been able to play much, to be honest other than I do try to make time for my farm run at least once a day um, but other than that I've been too busy with life for now um, but we did get a lot of le level, <laughs> lots of levels done last week so that's good um, and yeah I just wanted to show you guys um, what I've the progress I've done since the last video and yeah I'll show it here. <laughs> um, other than that, I will be trying out a different sort of format when it comes to my videos. Just adding stuff here and there, see if it makes any difference. But other than that, let's get on to today's video. For today, for the first quest that we're going to do, we're going to do Sea Slug. And... Let me just double check. Okay. So for sea slug you need 30 fire making, which I do. I have 40 at the moment. Um you also need one swamp paste, which I have here. It does also say that to complete an Ardoing medium diary task, we need to fish the which I have a small fishing net for that. So why not? <laughs> and we're gonna start off by talking to Caroline. We're in this is our doing. Yeah, I just teleported here and then ran across to where the quest begins in Witch Haven. Hello there. Is there any chance you could help me? What's wrong? It's my husband. He works on the fishing platform. Once a month he takes our town Kenneth out with him. They usually write to me regularly, but I heard nothing all week. It's very strange. Maybe the post was lost. Maybe, but no one heard from the other fishermen on the platform. Their families are becoming quite concerned. Is there any chance you could visit the platform and find out what's going on? Yes. I suppose so. How do I get there? That's very good of you, Janae. My friend Hogart is will take you there. Okay, I'll go and see if they're okay. I'll reward you for your time and I'll give it'll give me a peace of mind to know that Kenneth and my husband Kent are safe. Sure. Let's go over to Hogart. Hello. Hello mm, Hardy. I would like to ride you on your boat to the fishing platform. I'm afraid it isn't seaworthy, it's full of holes. To fill the holes, I'll need some swamp paste. Swamp paste? Yes, swamp tar mixed with flour and heated over a fire. In fact, unless minnows be mistaken, you've got some in your pack. Oh yeah, I forgot about that stuff. Can you use it? Hey, that would be perfect. fishing platform. Yes, I have. I'm just gonna fish first because we're already here. Oh, what is happening? Are they all drunk? Oh, this is taking quite some time. Oh, there you go. Get that. I'm gonna go up this ladder. Oh, 
Kenneth is hiding. Are you okay, young one? No, I want my daddy. Where's your father? He went to get help days ago. The nasty fisherman tried to throw me and daddy into the sea, so he told me to hide here. That's good advice. You stay here and I'll go try and find your father. That's pretty scary for a child, not gonna lie. Something strange is going on here. You're telling me none of the sailors seem to remember who I am. Apparently Kenneth's father left for a couple of, for help a couple of days ago. That's a worry. No one heard from him on shore. Come on, we'd better go look for him. You have to National Island. Yes, I have. Hi Kent. Oh, Thanks, Adamin. I thought I'd never. I thought I'd be left out here forever. Your wife sent me out to f to find you and your boy. Kenneth's fine, by the way. He's on the platform. I knew the rowboat wasn't a, wasn't seaworthy. I couldn't risk bringing him along, it, but you must get him off that platform. What's going on here? Five days ago, we pulled in a huge catch, as well as fish. We caught small slugs, like creatures, hundreds of them. That's when the fishermen began to act strange. It was like it was the sea slugs. They attached themselves to your body and somehow take over the mind of the carrier. I told Kenneth to hide until I returned, but I was washed up here. Please go back and get my boy. You can send help for me later. Oh. Do you know? Wait. Loop. He pulls. A few more minutes and that would have had full control of your body. Yuck. Thanks, Kent. Gross. Hmm? I was assuming we were going to get Kenneth, but okay, we're going to talk to Bailey. Hello. Oh, thank God, it's you. They've all gone mad, I tell you. One of the fishermen tried to throw me into the sea. They're all being controlled by the sea slugs. I figured as much. I need to get Kenneth off the platform, but I can't get past the fishermen. The sea slugs are scared of heat. I figured that when I tried to cook them here. Yeah. I doubt the fishermen will come near you if you can get this torch lit. The only problem is the wood all the wood and flint are damp. I can't light that. I can't light a thing. Take the broken glass. Damn it. Use damp stick on the broken glass. Up together the dry sticks and it lights up the torch. Great. Climb up the ladder. Talk to Kenneth. Oh, yo. <laughs> Hello, Kenneth. Are you okay? No, I want my daddy. You'll be able to see him soon. First, we need to get you back on land. Come with me to find. Come with me on the boat. No. What? Why not? I'm scared of the nasty sea. Nasty. <laughs> nasty sea slugs. I won't go near them. Okay, you wait here and I'll figure out another way to get you out. Yes, kick it. Kenneth, I've made an opening in the wall. You can come out through there. Are there any sea slugs on the other side? Not one. How will I get? How will I get downstairs? 
I'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, when you have, I'll come out. I don't blame him, but he's very particular. Oh, he's so cute. He reminds me of the little boy in it. Down below you see how God collect the boy from the crane and lead him away to safety. Oh, that's cute. So the whole fishing platform is contaminated with sea slugs. Are they going to do anything about it? The boat arrived at Witch Haven. Caroline, I brought them back for you. Hello. Brave Janae, you've returned. Kenneth told me about the strange going on at the platform. I had no idea it was so serious. I could have lost my son and my husband if it wasn't for you. We found Kent dragged on an island. Yes, Hogart told me and sent a rescue party out. Kent back home now. First thing with Kenneth. I don't think he'll be doing any fishing for a while. Here, take these oyster pearls as rewards. They're quite, they're worth quite a bit and can be used to make lethal crossbow bolts. Thanks. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Janari. Thank you. Anything to get my fishing up, honestly. Okay, the Lost Tribe is our next quest. And that requires finishing Goblin Diplomacy and Rain Mysteries. You also need 13 Agility, which I have 47. <laughs> 13 Thieving, which I have 39. 17 Mining, which I have 35. And we need a Pickaxe and a light source recommended it's best to have lumbi teleport three of them one vag teleport and one valador teleport i'm using wind for all that because tabs are too expensive <laughs> so we're gonna start off by talking to sigmund in lumbi go to lumbridge I assumed he's in the castle. Yeah, Lumbridge Castle. Sigmund. Can I help you? Do you have any quests for me? There was recently some damage to the castle cellar. Part of the wall has collapsed. The jig insists that it was an earthquake but i think some kind of monsters are to blame yes so what do you need me to do you should ask people around town about it maybe someone saw something are we talking to people climb down the stairs talk to the cook Do you know what happened in the castle cell? Oh no, it's terrible, isn't it? There was a rock dust everywhere. It got all on all my ingredients. Talk to cook Hans. Hans, I know you can... This guy. What? We got... Oh, right, there's a blue one there. Huh? Why do I need to talk to him? Hello, what are you doing here? Huh? Why do we have to talk to the cook again? Okay, so that is just that. Hans. Hello, what are you doing here? Do you know what happened in this castle cellar? The wall collapsed. I had to spend all day cleaning it up. The Duke says it was an earthquake. Who else? Father... Ava? Which is in the church, and I don't know who Bob is. 
Are you pop? 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 Thank you for getting rid of that awful ghost for me. May Sarah Demon always smile upon you. Do you know what happened in the castle cellar? Last night I was in the kitchen and I heard a noise from the cellar. I opened the trap door and saw a creature dart into a hole in the wall. It looked a bit like a goblin, but it had big bulging eyes. It wasn't wearing an it wasn't wearing armor, but it had this old odd helmet with a light on it. The tunnel was too dark for me to follow it, so I went to tell the duke. But we went down. But when we went down to the cellar, the hole had been blocked up, and no one believed me. I believe you. Thank you, Janelle. You can convince the duke I'm telling the truth. Then we can get to the bottom of this mystery. Okay, we didn't need. But who is Bob? I want to know who Bob is now. Duke Hokkaio. Hokkaio. I did. I said that last time. Greetings. Welcome to my castle. Father Eric says he saw something in the cellar. Like a goblin with big eyes. Yes, he mentioned that to me, but I think he was imagining anything. Goblins live in natural caves, but everyone knows they don't have the wit to make their own tunnels. Yes, your grace, but if there was any possibility that this is a goblin incursion, then we should take that possibility very seriously. I think we should at least investigate. Your grace, this is the adventurer who defeated Dragon Alvark. Yeah. The second try. <laughs> I think you should listen to her. Mm, very well. I'll give you permission to investigate this mystery. If there is a block tunnel, then perhaps you should try to unblock it. See, I thought this quest you had to do before you had access to... <coughs> Sorry. Before you have access to this chest, but apparently not. You can access this anytime. If you remember this. That was fast. Squeeze through the hole. What's so dark? Take bridge. Bridge. How did they not know that was covered up? It's a pretty big hole, I'm not gonna lie. Did you cook higher? I dug a hole through the rubble in the cellar and found a tunnel. On the ground I found these this bridge. I've never seen anything like that before. It doesn't come from Lambus. What do you think, Sigmund? It is unknown to me, your grace, but the fact that is there is enough to prove Father Eric's story. You must have been dropped by a goblin as it fled. I've never heard of a goblin wearing something so well crafted. Then it must have been stolen, but it wasn't stolen from us. Where could it be from? That doesn't matter. You said yourself that goblins couldn't have made that. They, they must have stolen it from somewhere. Horrible thieving goblins have broken into our cellar. We must retaliate immediately. First, we should wipe out the goblins east of the river, and we can march on the goblin village to the northwest. I will not commit troops until I have proof that goblins are behind this. You know, please find out what you can. Please find out what you can. You know, please find out what you can about this bridge. The librarian in Varric must might be able to identify the symbol. I'm going to Varric.
history of the goblin race, this must be it. You take the book from the bookcase. Read. A history of the goblin race. Goblin tradition told that their race was created by a war god in order to fight a war against other gods. They never ma they never named their god, so whether it is the same as any of the gods worshipped by the other races is unknown. The legend also speaks of goblins fighting against goblins during the war, so it is likely that gods other than their creators used them as food foot soldiers. Although goblins are still warlike, it is probable that in earlier ages they were more organised than they are now. Especially if they were under the direct command of one or more gods. This is corroborated by finds on earth as various archaeological archaeological sites, including the large excavation east of Varag. Armors and weapons have been found, obviously obviously made to fit goblins, but far more well made other than their current equipment. Almost every piece of ancient goblin equipment has one of a number of symbols on it, and by correlating these symbols with the sketchy records that survive from the Third Age, it has been possible to identify 12 distinct goblin tribes or regiments. The separate identities of the tribes have long since dissolved and no goblins remember the symbols, although their gen generals may still recognise the ancient tribal name. In the following pages, I present a list of the tribes and their symbols. Thoroption, Goblins of the Hills, Gargoshin, Goblins of the Sea, Rekishin, Goblins of the North, Echelishin, Goblins of the East, Edithan, Goblins of the South, Nargoshin, Goblins of the West. I need to sneeze. Oh. Goblins of the Fierce Blades. His Live Flesh Eaters of the Chaos Gods. Saragogak. Gorgak. Foot soldiers of the Holy Wrath, Dorgeshin, goblins of the strong spears, Horogotha, Gothga, eaters of man flesh, and Yakogoth, the flatulent. <laughs> okay, I butchered all the name, but the last one is kind of silly. <laughs> Hey, the symbol of the Dorgashin tribe looks like the symbol on the boat I found. Return to the in the goblin village. The goblin village. Goblin village. Vag. No. Valador. Up. It's the quickest way. Yep. Go up to the Goblin Village. I kind of like talking like this, like reading the whole dialogue. Not only like does it get my get me talking more because I don't really talk. <laughs> so it kind of encourages me to talk, and I think that will make my make me feel more confident in talking. Like not in just through videos, but in person as well. Have you ever heard of the Gor Dorgashin? Dorgashin, the old goblin legend lost tribe. In time of much war, there's many tribes. Big high war gods send Dorgash tribe to fight beardly short people in the mountains. 
No, no, he sent them to fight tall people with biting blade, that's what I hear. It was a beard, it was beardly, beardy short people, that's how legends go. It doesn't really matter. What happened to them? Well, they say we'd not want to fight, so God punished them. That's silly, no goblin ever say that. What happened then? They lose battle, that's why God punished them. Haha, uh -huh. if they lost battle, they all be dead. No, no, they losing, so they ran away. And the big high war god punished them for running away. Well, either way, they refused to fight. Uh huh. Oh, oh. yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> I don't know where I got half of them. Anyway, then, big high war god punished them. He turned their inside to stone. Ooh. Ha ha ha, that's silly. Not the silliest green armor. What happened then? He put them inside stone, big hole open in the ground, and they all go and ca into cave. That's not punishment. Caves are nice and cool. But then he closed caves so they not get out. You not want to stay in cave all the time. Well, I found a brooch on the ground. And I looked up the symbol and it was a symbol of Dorgishin. That not look like Goblin Bridge. Goblins not wear jewelry. Well if it Well if it Dorgishin tribe they not know who won Big Boar, you should greet them with Goblin Victory Dance. No no, you greet them with Goblin Tribal Bow. Doing bow make you look like a wimp. It's how tribe greet each other in old days. Only if they wimpy tribe goblins salute strong well why not show me the both greetings that's a good idea watch the goblin shows you goblin victory salute and goblin bow thanks bye then bye okay I've also the under okay, we're going back to Lumbridge. We have a light source that we got from the previous quest, but I bought one just in case. Double up. I wonder if it's actually them that crafted it. The light is so much brighter, but I still can't see anything. I'm just gonna follow this. Thank you, light. Cause I'm blind. Mainly because I have light right in front of my face. I can't see the screen very clearly. And so it's extremely dark for me. Goblin power emote. A human who knows ancient greeting. So cute. He's so cute. The big eyes. Perhaps you're a friend after all. Greeting friend. I'm sorry I panicked when I saw you. 
Our legend tell of the surface is a place of horror and violence where the god forces us to battle in terrible battles. When I saw a surface dweller appear, I was afraid it was a return to the old ways. Dways? Days. Did you break into the castle cellar? It was an accident. We were following the seam of iron and suddenly we found ourselves in a room. We blocked up our tunnel behind us and ran back here. Then we did what cave goblins always do when there's a problem. We hid and hoped it would go away. That's a lot of people's coping mechanism. <laughs> we meant no harm. Please tell the rule of the above people that we want to make peace. And fast channel. Oops, talk to Miss Tech. Hello, friend. Can you show me a way out of the mines? Certainly, please hurry. You must have at the war. Thanks. Squeeze through the hole. We could have went faster by Tully, but I wanted to try it out. Duke Hocasio, they want to make peace. Greetings, welcome to my castle. I made contact with the cave goblins. They say they were following a seam and broke into the cellar by accident. And I suppose you believe them, goblin love them? Well, they seem friendlier than most goblins, and nothing was taken from the cellar. Actually, something was taken. Sigmund had informed me that some of the castle's silverware is missing from the cellar. Unless it's returned, I'm afraid we have no option but war. Are you saying you would start a war with another race because of forks? Talk to Sigmund. Open the chest in the room like the juice. <sighs> hmm. Oh, my yew tree is dead. No, yew trees are really expensive. It has my soul. So he stopped. And he tried to blame it on the goblins? What's his problem? Did you not see how cute they were? Why would you do that? Beating from the castle. I found the missing silver in the ham cave. Sigmund, is this your doing? No, of course not. The goblins must have um, dropped the silverware as they ran away. Don't lie to me. I knew you were a hand member, but I didn't think you would stoop to this. You were dismissed from my service. But you don't see it was for the best for goblins to be living under our feet like this. Ugh, it doesn't matter how civilized they are. All the subhuman species must be wiped out. That's enough. Get out of my castle now. I see. I was ill advised, and if there was an act of aggression by the K Cob, then there's no need for war. This peace treaty species. Best of all, this peace treaty 
specifies the border between Longbridge and the Cake Goblin realm. Please take it to the Goblin Cake Goblins and tell them I would like to meet with their leader to sign it. Aww. He's so nice. Follow Kazgar. Let's go. Miss Tag. Oops, no, 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 no. Hello, friend. I have a peace treaty from the Duke of Lumbridge. A peace treaty? Then you will not invade? No, as long as you stick to the terms of this treaty, there will be no conflict. The Duke of Lumbridge wants to meet your ruler to sign it. I will summon Urtag, our headman, at once. Your Grace, I present Ertag, headman of the Dorgeshen. Welcome, Ertag. I'm sorry that your race came under suspicion. I assure you that more mongering element has been dealt with. I apologize for the damage to your cellar. I will send workers to repair the hole. No, let us stay. It can be a route of commerce, commerce between our land. Janari, Lumbridge is in your debt. Please accept this ring as a token of my thanks. It is enchanted to save your, you and your hours of need. I too thank you. Accept the freedom of the Dorgashin mines. These are strange mines. I've never dreamt that I would see the surface. Still less than I would be on the friendly terms with its people. Battle on Goblin. Soon you will be destroyed. What the hatred towards goblins. I got one quest point, 3k mining XP, Ring of Life, and Dorkishin Mine Access. Nice. Oh, okay. Finished that. Now we have two more. We have Wanted and then the slug minutes, which will get us our proselyte. Okay, so we're in Valador now, Valador Park, and we're going to talk to the Ify Cassian. But for this quest, for the wanted quest, you need that it's two quest points. Must have finished to enter the abyss, recruitment drive, the lost tribe. Priest in Power quest. You'll need 20 rune or pure essence, unnoted, a light source, your combat gear, a lore rune, an enchanted gem, and some molten glass, or 100, no, 10k GP. So we went to the gem route because I don't want to spend 10k. <laughs> and recommended items Amulet of Glory, which is what I'm wearing. Ring of Dueling. I think I can wear that. Oh no. Ring of Dueling. I have this one on because it has teleport, but. Teleport and energy. Um, I teleport to Falador, Vag, and Canifis. I have runes for Vag and Falador. But for Canifis, I have the Ectophile. Ectophil? I think it's Ectophil. whichever way and a spiny helmet or slayer helm which I have here we need to defeat a level 33 black knight which is easy at our level of 70 and solus delega which is similar so that's fine we don't need the 20 rune essence yet so I got everything else but the quest. What ho, milady? Jolly could show on the old training on the old training ground thingy. What? What? Do you have any jobs for me yet? So Tiffy, now that I'm a temple knight, 
initiate. Do you have any jobs for me to do? Do you have any quest for the for a hard working adventure? Well, old girl, looking at the old dust here we have on you here on you here, there seemed to be a tiny problem. What? Problem? What problem? Uh, and you have a dossier on me? Well, of course, we have a dossier on you. We have a dossier on everyone. It's our job, what do you know? Um, okay, so what's the problem? Well, now, seem we made a tiny blunder when we first contacted you to join the Temple Knights, what? Entirely our own fault. It could have been avoided and all that, but a bit of a showstopper, what? What is? We're old girl, here to think. Only members of the White Knight may join the Temple Knights by ancient decree. What you know? What? But I am a member of the White Knights. I went and did the stuff with the cabbage and potion. And I've already done your stupid little mind test thing. You can't get rid of me that easily. Calm yourself down, old girl. We don't. We have no intention of getting rid of you. We are very keen on seeing you join us. Then what's the problem? Well, it's like this. Although you have performed a mission on behalf of the White Knight, you are never truly working for them. As I say, when our order was founded, we were expected to take the best of the best, and it was assumed that everyone worth not having on the team would have been a White Knight already. What? Sadly, this is not the same case. This is not the case anymore, and the fact that you have to serve as a squire to a White Knight for a minimum three minimum period of five years before you can actually become one tends to put the more short attention and adventures of joining what you want me to be a squire for five years ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho no no goodness me no five years is a very long period of time nowadays anything could happen in that time and we need capable heroes like yourself as soon as possible no, I had a bit of a chat with survey and we came up with a different solution to the problem. Assuming you're still interested, of course. Yes. I'm still up to joining the Temple Knights. I just don't really feel like spending five years running around shining people's boots for them. Ho ho ho. I can't understand. What? No, don't worry. We were doing a little research into the White Knight Charter and found an interesting loophole. What? Loophole? What kind of loophole? Well, you don't need to worry about the details. You just do as I tell you and it will all work out for the both of us. For, for us both. What? I guess. I don't really like blindly following orders though. Asked about the wanted quest. So what exactly do you want me to do? Well now, it's really simple. I want you to go to Sir Amic. Tell him you have decided not to join the Temple Knights and that you have decided to become a White Knight instead. He will then offer you to join as a squire. You will then decline his offer and ask if you can be deputized instead. Okay. If you run into any problems with that, come and see me. Okay. Let's go to Sir Amic. Hello. Hello, I'm back. Hello, friend. You got any jobs for me to do today? Well, I did have something you may have been interested in, but I've been given orders not to... Can I just stop you right there? I am no longer a member of the Temple Knights. I have entirely renounced my application because after many hours of soul searching, I have come to the conclusion that I desperately want to become a White Knight instead. I'm not sure I understand. You wish to desert the Temple Knights in favor of my own humble White Knights? Absolutely. And this is definitely not some kind of elaborate hoax to get my application process faster. I'm sorry, did you just say something just then? No, not if you didn't hear it. Well, anyway, for the fine work you achieved at that incident in the Black Knight Fortress, I would be honoured to accept you as my squire. So what do you say? No, not right now. I'm as, as tempting as an offer that sounds uh, amic. I'm 
really not a fan of waiting around. Now I heard from some completely random stranger that I was definitely not that was definitely not certification as part of an elaborate ruse to track fast track my application into the White Knight that I could be deputized directly as a White Knight and entirely bypass the whole boring waiting for five years thing. Yes, it's entirely correct, Janari, and I have no idea where you may have heard that, for it's a secret guarded secret guarded only to members of our order. Right, well anyways, can I do that instead? Well, a fine adventurer such as yourself would be perfect candidate as a deputy in my eyes, but fortunately this can only be done in a time of crisis and it's currently well. Ah, it is, is well, huh? I'll be back. I'll just have to go and ask nobody in particular if they can organize nothing at all to happen. You're a strange one, Janari. Let's go back. We need something to happen. I wonder what that thing is. So Tiffy Hello again Tiffy, I've just spoken to Amic and he says he's fine for me to be deputized as a white knight. They just need to be a crisis first. I assume you can arrange a small crisis for me? Ho ho ho! Fitting right into the temple knight way of thinking. What? Well, as a matter of fact, I will not have to organize anything. There's a particular vicious and dangerous criminal currently in at loose. I've already notified Sir Amic through the usual channels, so just go and speak to him quickly. Then pop back here and I'll get you equipped for the hunt. What? You know, all this back and forth strictly necessary? I don't mean to sound ungrateful for the help you're giving me here, but you could have just got this sorted out before sending me there in the first place. True. <laughs> ah. Yes, well, most awfully sorry about all the running around you've been doing, old bean. But when it comes to our time, our line of work, sometimes the indirect route is the best. What? I don't understand. And don't call me bean. I'm not a festival. I'm a human being. Be being. Bean. Being. Awfully sorry to hear heart. It seems it's just a term of affection. What? Anyway, the criminal is a very dangerous fellow and has some very, very dangerous friends. He has no reason to suspect you to be working for us, then it, he will be a little sloppier than he otherwise might be, because he's just assumed you to be one of those stupid white knights. We want this man caught for good of the country, and if we need a fool, if we need to fool a few people into thinking we're nothing to do, thinking you're nothing to do with us, and you have to do a little extra walking, then that's what's going to happen. What? I guess, but this spy stuff is a lot more boring than it sounded at first. Back again. Climb up the stairs. Sir Amic, I'm here to talk to you again. Hello friend. Thanks, so, Odin. You have come back here. We have received word from one of our scouts that the evil Solistaglagar has returned to Asgarnia. What is worse, he seems he is in possession of dangerous new magic that we are powerless against. Please I implore you in the name of all that is holy against assist us in banishing them from our kingdom once more. I cannot bear to think of the trouble he must he may bring us. Sure, I'll help you. Hey, there's nothing I like more than fighting. Deputize me up and I'll get this guy for you. I'll go get this guy for you. Very well then, in the name of King Valence and for the honor of Saradome and I now pronounce you as a fully deputized white knight. May honor and glory follow you in every action. So where should I start looking for this service guy anyway? I haven't the faintest idea. Good luck. Great. He doesn't know anything. Alright. 
Dun 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 dun. So Tiffy, I'm here. It worked exactly the plan, so Amic Deputy, I need to take care of this Solus Duli Ali dude, so let's go get him. His name is Solus Delegar, and honestly he is one of the most dangerous men on the planet. Not only is he extremely ad adept at magic, he is also quite prepared to use that magic at a moment's notice, because he is quite, quite mad. So, dragon hide armor and an elemental shield, and I'm laughing. No, 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 no. Listen to me, girl. You are under. You are under no circumstances to engage him directly in combat. You are to act as our agent and track him down when you have. When you have managed to corner him everywhere, then we will send in a field recovery team directly to, to take him away without incident. I cannot stress this enough. You are to observe and locate. You are not to enter a combat situation. Right. So I'm just going to scout him out for you then. Any tips on how to find him? Well, old girl, we need to equip you for the task, but you will need to get something for me first. What? What kind of stuff? Well, we teach our operative the value of the equipment by making them pay for it. What? You have two choices here. You can either give me cash directly and I will hand it over, or you can bring me raw materials and I'll make you one one made. I have all three, all three components for you to make a communication orb out of now. Tiffy. Excellent. You wish me to make you one now then? What? Yes. Yeah, take this communication orb or com orb for sure. It is a precise magical mechanism that we can use to track him by sending data of the surrounding area back to our, one of our informants operatives at the Temple Knight Headquarters. Your information oper operative is known as Savant. I suggest you contact them using your comorb at your earliest convenience. They will be able to send you any default data about Solus directly through it for your pursuit. Don't you know? Okay, thanks Tiffy. Contact. Hello? Well, hello. You must be Janari. So Tiffy told me to expect you to call in on this frequency. So what do you think? Pretty nifty little pit piece of kit, this crystal, huh? Yeah, it must be very useful. Oh, trust me, you'll find exactly how useful. Now, was there something you wanted? Current assignment. Hi, Seven. I was wondering if you can give me details on my current assignment. Okay, bring up your current assignment detail. Oh, you're chasing Solus Delica? Yeah, is there any information you can give me? Listen, Janari, Solus is an incredibly dangerous criminal, and I don't think his graft on reality is too tight, if you understand what I'm saying. You need to take care of this one. I am amazed you got an assignment as tough as this one as your first assignment, to be honest. So, how would you suggest I go about finding him? Well, in this common, you can scan you can use the scan function to find him, but its range is very limited. So I just have to wander around the place looking for him? No, that would take far too long. Listen, I'm going to transfer all the information on Solus that we currently have to your Kamal. You should be able to find a, a hint to where to find him by examining it. The library tells me that you have two visual recordings from fire orbs available to you as well as a standard dossier. I would suggest the people that the spy ops were observing when they picked up the records of Solus would be a good place to start your investigation. Who are these people then? Okay, just checking now. Record 1 is from a routine monitoring of Lord Dacros. In case you haven't heard of him, he's the leader of the Kinshra known as the Black Knights. As a ma major enemy of the White Knight, we have, we have had him under observation from some, for some time now, so it was quite lucky that Solis decided to visit him. So where would I find this Lord Dacrius? He has a secret Black Knight training ground deep in the heart of Tavoli Dungeon, along with the holding facilities for prisoners who wish to interrogate later. He is almost certain to be found thereabouts, and what is Record 2 about? 
Just checking. Ah, yes. This shady fellow is a member of Zamorakian Magical Institute. We sus suspect them to be a group responsible for destroying the Wizard Tower of all these years ago, as well as other more recent acts of sabotage. We also suspect that they have been re responsible for a number of thefts of the mysterious rock that the Wizard's Tower have started producing, but we don't have much intelligence about that. We set up an observation fire orb in a known Zamorakian shrine in southeast Varric, but he moved between there and the wilderness just north of Esfield quite frequently. He doesn't seem much of a threat, but we place him under observation anyway, which seemed to have paid off by getting some of information about Solus. From the book of the records, he would be worth talking to as well. Thanks, Seventh. Anytime, Janari. Over and out. To the Tavoli Dungeon. Oh, it's right there. Looks like we're walking. Wait, this jump scare me. We'll go over this wall first, and then we'll talk to you, because I want that fishing XP. Oh no, it's not this one. I wanted a fishing XP. Horns. Short buddy. No, oh, that's long buddy. Short buddy. We got 17k from that. Thank you. Oh, that's fun. There's so much. So much running. speak. I'm here on behalf of the white knights. Ha, be gone fool and prepare to taste my blade. Now wait a minute, this concerns a friend of yours. A friend of mine? What friend of mine would the temple knight show any interest? 
Oh, this. This is about Solus, isn't it? Bingo! Then let me assure you that Montus is no friend of mine, if indeed such a creature even has friends. No, that man is certainly no friend of mine, nor of the Shinshra. Kinshra. So will you help me find him? No, fool. You and your white knight cronies are no friend of the Kinshra either. I will help neither of you, and I wish you all slow and painful death. You know, I'm sure I could make you tell me where he is. You did a threat, help well, Do your worst. I care not of my own life. I stand only for the protection of the Kintra. Junei, I've been monitoring you. He's telling the truth, so don't try to bluff him by starting a fight. All of our records show that the only thing he will make a stand for is the protection of his men, and he has little regards for his own safety in comparison. You're going to have to find some other way to intimidate him into giving you the information we need. Understood, Janari out. Be nice, I'll bury his bones. Oh. I have to kill two. How you want you want you my men be okay did it not register the first time hello okay the yes you tell me where the whereabouts of solis the lagar right now or i will put every black knight here and to their death and fight in front of you <sighs> i should have known the white knight would be my ruin one day once again I do not know this exact whereabout, and when we last met, he did not leave on the best of terms. All I know is that he left behind some fur when he left. I would expect him to be in an area with furred creatures of some sort. What kind of fur? Dog? Bear? Wolf? I don't know. I do not know. I'm a warrior, not a zookeeper. It was not bear fur, I know that much. That's it? That's your help? You better not be lying, Aquarius, or calm yourself, Janae. He's telling the truth. How do you know? I'm not I am monitoring your conversation through the comma or his psych physiology shows me none of the changes we usually get when someone lies to us. So this comma thing can work as a lie detector, that's pretty useful. Yes, it is, but best Back on the task at hand, I suggest you head to the next subject of, of head to the next subject of observation. He might be more help in locating Solus. You mean the Zamarkian mage in Varric? Yes. Seemed like a likely bet. Something. Just gonna quickly get the rune essence. I got the 20 rune essence and we're gonna talk to the Mage of Zamrak. Seen him a couple of times. Solis Delagar. I'm looking for information about a very dangerous man. I believe he visited you quite recently. You mean that curse Solis? Yes, him. I need to find him and make sure he doesn't come back to these lands. You're working for the Temple Knights, correct? No, don't deny it. I recognize the magical signature of your communication form. A very nice piece of equipment indeed. I will tell you what I know in exchange for it. I believe such a device would be useful in my research. Janeiro, I've been monitoring your conversation. You can't let him have the Temple Knight equipment. He is a Zamrakian. If he wanted to let 
the Zamorkian Magical Institute have access to our research. The built-in security magic will destroy it before trading anyway. Sorry, I cannot trade you my communications orb. I thought it was worth a try, but I did not seriously expect you to part with it. Then perhaps you will be willing to trade something else for your information? I have little, inf I have little information and would give you, f give it freely to make sure Solus is disposed of. But unfortunately, I am somewhat financially distraught at the moment due to a recent incident. You mean Solus robbed you of all your money? Yes. He took a large degree of my research into various things as well, but my research is inside my mind and easily replaceable. The money I possessed was essential for my experimentation and as I have no real skill to speak of, it's not easily replaceable. You want me to pay for your information? No, not as such. You know the substance known as Runescent yet? A small number of those will allow me to create room from them, which I may then sell and get my and get myself back on my feet. Twenty parts of rune essence is my price for information. You may take it or leave it. Hi, Jane. It sounds like a pretty good deal for this kind of information to me. But it's your call. You really need to find service as soon as possible. Though who knows what kind of damage you might cause. Now he's at large again. Okay, I'll see what I can do. We have it. <laughs> then we can do it. So you have information about the whereabouts of Solus Delaga? I do indeed. My price for this information is 20 pieces of runescence. I have your recent runescence right here. Take them. Okay, now you have your essence. Give me my information. Certainly. As I say, I have little information, that, but the cost was not too dear, was it? Get on with it. I really don't have all day to waste. As you wish, as a powerful magician, I could sense his aura once I encountered him, and it's definitely moved east of here when he left me. He went east, that's it? That's your information? I'm sorry I cannot be more specific, but that's all the information I have to offer. Okay, so Decarius told us he was probably somewhere with fairy animals of some kind, and his mage had told us he's east of here. Any ideas? Frankly, I'm stumped. I have just don't have enough information to work out where he might be. Hmm, Warfer in the east. I know where he is. You do? He'll be in Canifus. He must be. Wow, that's some good thinking, Janae. Okay, let's head there and get him. Canifus. Light source. Gonna run to Canopus. Oh, my herb is okay. Okay, Janari, I'm going to begin to I'm going to begin a low level scan of Solus now. Any signs? Hmm, these readings are very strange. There's something here, you know. I'm sure I've seen reading like this somewhere before. What's wrong? So give me a minute to cross reference the records in the library. I know I've seen reading like these before. God, it's just infuriating. It's on the tip of my tongue. Well, the Zamorokan mage meant that he had a strong magical aura, perhaps that's it? No, no, it's something. Oh my, I know what it is. Seven? Many years ago, the Temple Knights were studying teleportation techniques and found a strange dimension that was accessed when teleporting. We stopped the research as it's too dangerous to be practically useful, but our initial studies show that we have we could use the entire dimension as a kind of skying glass to see a piece of to see a precise point where we wish to teleport. No, to teleport extremely slowly between two points. How is teleporting really slowly particularly useful? Well, basically you are stretched so thinly between dimensions that you effectively become invisible. From your perspective, you can 
see three places simultaneously and can choose to move between all three at will. I'm not sure I follow. Let me give you an example. If you are in Valador Castle and you wish to be teleport and you wish to teleport to Vag, then you could use the slow teleport technique to be in both places simultaneously, but invisible to anyone in either. Oh. You could also move freely between two invisible to invisibility and then choose which place you wish to end up, simply by concentrating on the location you wanted to appear in. Needless to say, in our line of work, this could come in very handy for sneaking around unobserved. But you abandoned this research? Why? It is far too dangerous. In my example, I only used two places, but in practice there is a third place involved. It is a strange empty dimension that teleports seem to pass through. Frankly, the mind, the human mind isn't equipped to cope with processing so much information simultaneously, and the test subject started to display behavioural problems. Uh, that doesn't sound good. No, it wasn't. Aggressiveness was highly increased and there were numerous perceptual faults, hallucination and the like. We ceased experimentation immediately. There are enough things in this world to haunt the Temple Knight. We did not need, we did not see the need to create any more. But this signature you are finding is the same as the slow teleport experiment created? No, it's not exactly the same, but it's close enough to be a cause of concern. Either someone else has found this strange dimension and begun their own research and reached the same conclusion that we did, or we have had a security leak within the Temple Knights and abandoned research had been sold to our enemies. Well, I can see how that might be a cause of concern, but right now our priority is Solus, right? Yes, Janelle, you're right. But if he's using the slow teleport technique, then that means it's going to be a lot harder to catch him. Because he's invi invisible in three separate places simultaneously. Exactly. Listen, I might be able to block his tele teleportation magic using your Kamal, but I will need you to get close to him, and if we're unlucky, then he'll end up teleporting to the point away from you instead of appearing in front of you. Well, we have nothing else to try, right? What will I have to do? Use the scan function on your combo. If he is in the vicinity, it should knock him out of his in-between state and make him appear. So I should try to scan here in Canifus. That would seem the best. Servant over and out. Well, well, I was wondering when the White Knight would come looking for me. Well, y you'll have to be quicker than that, my friend. Ugh. He got away. So, what can we do now? Wait a second. There was another item in the teleport with him. What does that mean? Well, I might be able to retrieve it from a slow teleport. It might give us clues to second location so this is in. Well, what are you waiting for? Try and get it. Fuck legs. Nine village? Lumbridge. This frog... The frogs they came from must be huge. I've heard rumors about sub giant frogs in subterranean area. You know, I want you to search for him and use your combo to scan for him if you think he's nearby. Okay, I'll head off immediately. Let's hope it's not too late. Oh yeah, it is Lumbridge. Lumbridge, okay. Alright, so yeah, I teleported to Lumbi. I got some teleport items. I remember training at these frogs.
Oh, I should have bought some dynamite potion. Oh yeah, if you're wearing, if you have a shiny helmet, make sure to put it on when you go through these caves. interfere with my plans I will see you suffer. So at least I'm here to buy authority of the White Knight of Valador. Ha, like I care. Okay, I'm attempting to block his teleport. Oh, we have a little magical skill, do we? Well, let's see how you deal with this. I should have known he would try something like that. I'm sorry, Janeri, I should have stopped him using that spell. It just doesn't matter right now, Seven. Did you get re- Oh, the spell is running. Wait a moment. Well... Seven transferred the item to you. It's a cape. I'm not sure how much help is tracking him, that is. Cape of Champions. I don't know where that is. You should head there immediately. Champion Guild. Oh, I should have bought my. I'm gonna go get it. Okay. I'm gonna scan. Well, now I'm beginning to just get sick of your content interference. Oh, well, at least I wouldn't be so laughably easy. I'm too slow at reading. <laughs> he threw some kind of smoke at me or something. Don't worry about it, Janae. He may skip again, but I still have him on my tracking spell. Want to make clear you don't seem to have damaged by it. Let's see if I grab something useful from him while he was teleporting. It's fur. Fur, how did that help him find him? Not for exactly from an omen, look like you've been prepared for sale. I'm on my way. This old guy is really beginning to get on my nerves. Uh, doing... Scan. This is getting very tiresome. Little white knight, I have man powers beyond your imagination. If you do not cease pursuing me, I will be forced to use them upon you. You can't threaten me, old man. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. This charade pulled me. Do you know me? I'm getting a reason of huge fires surging from solace. Be very careful. Rude. Damn though, Severin, she said he could only be a few places simultaneously, but he's getting away and he keeps moving around. You're right, Janae, I didn't know how he's doing it. But he can't run forever, and every time he tries something against you, I can update your promo to that. So he isn't going to shoot me like that again? 
No, you know, I'm sorry I let him hurt you like that. But keep chasing him together, we'll bring him to justice. You're right about that, there's no way I'm letting him get away with cheating me like that. So, do we get any clue to his real location from that last scan? That's a bit generic, just waiting the data to come through. Very strange weapon. I recognize that. Some type of spears used by the Dungshin. Dogashin Dublins. The who? I've never heard of them before. Well, if you'd know who or what they are, you should go and see them. So this must be nearby. You should probably take a minute to restock the supplies and heal up Janae. I know we can find him and bring him to justice, but we don't want him, you dying. Okay, so I'll heal up and look for him among the Dogashin. Okay, well... That's good enough. Numbers. Okay, we're gonna go to the box and clave. Why? Because we need to heal. And we plan to have energy. Go back to Lambridge. Saga. Scan. Oh, thank God you freed me. What? Who are you? Oh, I'm a poor maiden kidnapped by the evil Solus. But you chase him so hard now I'm free. Do you know, I'm getting some strange reading from this maiden. Mahahaha, <laughs> sucker. So, you know, I should have spotted his little trick earlier. Are you okay? That looked like a nasty sucker punch. Uh oh. Did anyone get the number of that wagon? Don't worry, Janae, I'm configuring your com or to compensate for any camera. Please tell me you have the reading of the actual location by now and chasing him around. Oh. Keep you keep shutting down the teleport pursuit area. I think we're on the final stretch now, Janari. I'll be able to shut his teleport down permanently in two, perhaps three more scans to keep up the chase, Janari. We nearly have him cornered. Out of interest, what am I going to do with insane power of murderous maids? Leave that to me in the temple night, Janari. Follow your orders and continue to chase. His days are numbered. Okay, then where should I head now? Why in Kelly have to be wearing those? This is going to be a long video. <laughs> it seemed straightforward, but then this specific test step takes forever. Hunting him down? Too long, too long.
Well, you are a persistent one, aren't you? I'm here to take you in, Solus. You can forget about your little chicks. Little chicks, you say? Well, how about this one? Say hello to my little friend and goodbye to me. I got it back. Go to the Vin Essent Mine by talking to any of the NPCs that teleport you there. Yeah. Oh, he's in that. Hey, I got rune essence in exchange for. I got pure essence in exchange for rune essence. Nice. Go to the rune essence mine by talking to any of the a teleport. And there he is. Okay, I blocked all access from this place except for the temple night teleport. I think we can have. We finally have him. Oh, I'm so sick of your interference. I think it's time we end this once and for all. Agreed. In the name of the White Knight of Valdor in the Temple of Knights of Sarah Damon, I'm placing you under arrest. Oh yeah? You and what army? This one, Solus. Oh, oh. I kind of want to take their bones, not going to lie. to take the bones. Some prey XP. That was pretty cool though. How they all just died. And how they all just popped up. I just imagined it very anime like in my head. to be looking for Solus Delagar, the insane magician who's on blue swords upon these lands, remember? Yeah, but I've already done that. You have? Then you might have some sort of proof for your encounter. A weapon in hand or an item in a clothing? Well, of course I do. I have it right here. I hand it over then. And let's see it. Right. Now that you are a right knight, I should perhaps explain a little about how our system works. Sadly, we are not as rich as we once were, and there are many white knights who foolishly lose their combat equipment. We do not think it's fair to make a profit out of our 
threatened. So we'll sell you our equipment at cost and we buy it at the same cost. But we will only sell equipment to those we consider responsible enough to build it correctly. By killing Black Knight you will increase your reputation with us. By killing White Knight we will obviously think less of you. You can check your White Knight reputation level by looking at your quest journal for the wanted quest. Also, Vivin will let you know what level you are at. Well, you are going to ch purchase equipment. The vision can be found in Vowed or Castle, and he will sell you any equipment appropriate to your reputation level. Have fun and go kill some back knights for me. Okay, I'll make things for explaining. Okay, so we did that quest which took some time and now we're doing the log. Oops. There's log minutes. We seem to have a lot of requirements, but I'll grab the equipment for my bag and meet you here again. Alrighty, so we're going to start the slug minutes, which requires you to finish wanted, a sea slug quest, have 30 crafting, which I have 48, 30 rune crafting, which I have 32, 30 slayer, which I have 40, 30 thieving, which I have 39. It requires one com orb, which is the one we got from the previous quest. One swamp paste, five rune or pure essence, but fifteen to be safe. One chisel and access to air, water, and earth, fire, and mind rune hafting altars, which I can with the elemental tiara. And let's see, recommended item: the three Ardoin teleports, which I will use runes for. Necklace of passage. Teleport near air altar, which is the skill necklace to crafting guild. Teleport to earth altar, which is the dig site teleport. Teleport to fire altar, which is ring of dueling, which is to the Emir's arena. Then we have teleport to water altar, which is the Falador teleport, and just run up. Oh no, that's mind altar that you run up. And water altar is a lumbridge teleport, which is in the swamp, I believe. And so to start off, we're going to talk to Sir Tiffy again. A jolly good show and not getting into the White Knights. What? Now, how can I help you, old girl? Do you have any jobs for me yet? Okay, so when I start doing missions for the Temple Knights and get some better Temple armor and weapons and stuff, well, now that you are a white knight, we can process your application form correctly. And how long will that take? Already done, old bean. The scales of Justin never sleep. Ah, oh, right. So then, old bean, with that in mind, we have a mission for you. Really? Great. Am I to be flung to some far off and exotic land to defeat some evil genius? What? Ah, uh, no, exactly. We're sending you to Ardoin. Ardoin? Well,. What happens in Ardoin? I don't know. You were about to tell me. No, no, no. Nothing happens happening in Ardoin. However, there is something going on in Witchhaven to southeast of Ardoin. Yes. Are you sure? I mean, you're not a little senile, maybe? <laughs> Very funny, old bean. I need to tell you to report to Cole O'Neill in Witchhaven. He's a retired temple knight, and is, and but his clearance is still active. He will be able to fill you in. Remember to use the Temple Knight code phrase in Falador, the geese fly backwards on Tuesday. You know I'm not sure this isn't some giant wind up. Nonsense old girl, we we take our work very seriously, the fate of our world rests in our hands, don't you know? Oh and before you go I need to communicate, I need to update your come up with the new mission parameters. Now is there anything else I can do for you? We're going to Ardoin 
now and go southeast to Witch Haven, which is where we started the fish, the sea slug, sea slug's quest, and the pier. Excuse me, sir, would you be Cole or Nile? I might, who's asking? Generally, sir, Sir Tiffy Cashian helped sent me. And? Ermin fouled all the geese fly backwards on Tuesdays? What? Are you mad, girl? Uh, I thought it was a temper night, it's a good coast race. I see Sir Tiffy still has his fun with initiates. <sighs> I ask for a night and I get a whelp. Well, I'm a full member of the Temple Knights, sir. Like I said, oh well, don't sir me, girl. I work for a living. Right, sir, I mean colonel. Colon colonel? Jake would do fine, girl. Oh, Colonel O'Neill. <laughs> now that you know, now what do you want to know? Who are the important people in Witch Haven? Mm, there's only three people I recommend talking, speaking to. Right, who would that be? Firstly, go speak to Mayor Hop. He's the first to be. He was the first to be acting strangely, as well as that he isn't looking too healthy. Speak to the mayor. Check. Next, speak to the brother. Speak to brother Maledic at the church. He speaks a lot of. He speaks to a lot of villagers and has a good feel of what's going on in town. Brother Maledic, right. Finally, speak to Holgart, the fisherman. I haven't seen him sailing in a while. That's definitely a bit off. Holgart. Oh yes, I've spoken to him before. That covers about everyone, and don't just limit yourself to those three. Others may have insight into what's been happening. We'll do, Colonel Nile. Thanks for the advice. That's enough for now. Stay sharp, girl. And we're going to talk to brother. Maledict. I thought we were going to talk to Maya first, but I guess it doesn't matter. Good day to you, sir. And good day to you, my child. I'm Brother Maledict, at your service. Do you know me at yours? How are you? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm a little concerned. Really? What's up? To my congre congregation, they seem to be drifting away from me. With all the hardships in this small town has endured in the lot. With all the hardship this small village has endured in the last few years, the people of Witchhaven have never needed the solace of Saradom in before in more. Well, that's understandable. Yes, indeed. However, less and less people have been attending my services lately. I can see why that would worry you. Do you have any idea why they wouldn't attend? The only thing I can think of is that Maya has asked them to help improve the shrine. Well, that would make sense. And one more thing. That's enough for now. Peace be with you, child. Mayor Hobbs. Oh. Oh. Hello. Well, hello there. Welcome to a little visit. Very stay a while. Good day to you. Would you be the mayor? Indeed, Mayor S. Uton Hobbs, in fact. Do you like our home? It's certainly very quiet. Yes, quite and undisturbed, just how we like it. Tell me, what brings you to Witch Haven? I'm just looking around. Oh, well, that's good, yes, that's good. Witch Haven is a nice, quiet village, very relaxing, good fishing. Are you alright? You seem a little hazy. It's nothing. I'm just a little tired at the moment. So much work, so much to do. Really? What are you working on? To the west, the shrine needs work work. Things must be made better. Well, um, yes, indeed. I'm sure Saradamon will be pleased. Saradamon, why are you really here? Like I said, I'm here to... Are you sure that's the only reason you're here, Janae? Well, I'm also here to visit a friend, Jake on Isle. Ah, yes, this all makes sense. Yes, this is very good. Uh, how do you have my name? You told me when you came in. No, no I didn't. It does not matter, one of my villagers must have mentioned you here. You are here? Is there anything else you need to know? Nothing at the moment, thanks. 
feel free to stay in that village a while longer. Farewell. What's up, Seven? Something about the mayor is acting a bit fishy. No, really, it does seem... There was me thinking he was a model citizen. There's no need to be sarcastic. I need to take some reading. Can you please scan the mayor for me? Sure thing, one moment. Okay, Janae, I'm looking at the scan result now. Hmm, that's odd. He doesn't seem possessed by any spirits. I can detect no visual magic around him. But the combo might need calibrating. Yes, I can register two life forms present in this location. Are you sure you're not just reading me? I could have been, but I doubt it. Hmm, I'll continue to analyze the result and see what I can come up with. Seven out. Talk to Holgard. I wonder how he's doing. Hello again, Holgard. Well, hello again, Mahadi. How are you fair? Busy as always. Is everything okay? Afraid not. I've been washed up and left to dry. Pardon? Up here I am. Knee hold and bottom out. What? I'm dis destitute. I can sail no more. Oh my, that's terrible. What happened? Um, about two weeks ago, I was hauled up in front of the mayor and he told me I've broken his new articles of sailing. He told me that under his new laws, my boat is to forfeit. He took your boat? Uh, the mayor had given it to Jim Wormwood. He's running the boat to the fisherman fishing platform now. Speaking of which, since you were last here, since you were last there, it got a bit, might, it got a might bit stranger. You really should take a look. I'll do that, Hogart. I hope you get your boat back soon. Hey, farewell. Fare thee well. Very strange. Are they turning into fish? The sea slug, like, turning them into fish? So go, what have you learned? Something is definitely very wrong here. Mayor Hub has confiscated Hoggart boat and given it to someone else. As well as this, there's something very fishy about it. Hmm, fishy you say, anything else? Yes, Brother Maledict is worried that his congreg congregation is being led astray. Did he say anything more? The shrine to the west of the village has been cons consecrated consecrated to Saradamin for centuries. However, last time he was there, there was a very def definite unpleasant feeling in the air. Sounds like this shrine needs a thorough investigation. I, re I recommend taking a good look down there, see if anything's amiss. I was thinking the same thing, I'll get right onto it. Anything else I can do for you? That's enough for now. Hey sharp girl! Cracks open to reveal a hidden entrance. Hmm. Climb through shortcut. Oh. Open imposing door. What's the problem? The marking on that door looks familiar. Can you scan? I'll we'll get right onto it. Scan. I thought so. This cliff looks similar to some ancient Sodom in ruins I studied at the Academy. Hmm. I know a man who can translate them, but just be careful he's not a member of the Knights. I might be to show him the glyphs. I have added a transcript of Rune to your pack. The man you need to see is called Joel. You can find him in the tower northwest of Ardoin. Fantastic, I'll get right onto it. Alright. We up the dead sea slug net to the impulse. Oh, yeah. I'm just like this 
Is everything okay? Is it, is it? It did. I'm going to take a quick and just log in perform terminal analysis. Don't worry, there's nothing you need to do. I'll just get back to you when I have something. Friday at 7, I'll look forward to your results. Rest of our doing. Convenient. I draw translation. Oop. Sorry. Just look around you. This building will soon be in ruin. Great building? Of course. This building is has a history spanning generations. Ah, I see. Yes, it's great history. It's but why will it be in ruin? It is to be ripped apart to make way for King Lathius' new alchemist lab. The king, does the king not respect the outpost's great history? Well, actually, nobody knows what the history is, but there must be something. Wait a minute, you can help me. Me? Hmm? Yes, uncut the history of the building to convince King Lathius to leave it alone. Do you want to know more? Oh, is this a different quest? Translation, excuse me? Yes, can I help you? I understand that you are something of a historian. Ah, I am the foremost historian in the world. Wait, I was wondering if you could translate something for me, please. So yeah, the, the first dialogue was for the quest that he bought with him, I believe. I'm not sure what quest that is, but... Oh well, great. I was wondering if you could translate something for me, please. Possibly, I'm a very... I am very busy, you see, and my services don't come cheat. Hmm, how much are we talking? Well, I'm a very busy, but I could fit you in sometime next month. That's a bit longer than I was willing to wait. Could you fit me in any time sooner? I'm afraid not, you see. I have this ongoing series of texts that I need to catalogue as soon as possible. Janari. Seven? What? Jack, I was hoping he wouldn't notice. Excuse me, are you talking to your backpack? Hmm, no. Seven, help. And tell me that you tell him that you're going to work that you're working for a wizard who's sending you telepathic instructions. I uh, am working for a wizard who's giving me telepathic instructions. Right, okay. What does this uh voice want you to do? We have a front company who's keeping job draw on retainer. We have a no hang on, I wasn't finished. Sorry. Pardon? Not you. Can I finish now? Anyway, tell him that you're working for Petmore Books. Apparently I'm working for Petmore Books and this is a document from them. Oh right, thank you for my mild insanity. No problem. Hand over the document and have a look. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. It's an early vi variation on a script used by the priest of Zaradom a long time ago. What does it say? Look, you can see how the sentence structure and grammar evolved from the... Yes, yes, I'm sure it's very interesting, but what does it say? Hmm, it seems this text pertains to a great battle between the Temple of Saradamin and something called the May Mahayish Medron? The Marvis Medron? Mahay Medron. I think it's a corruption of an, of an even earlier language and actually refers to something called Mother Malum. And. Well, there isn't a whole lot more. They managed to trap the mother Malin behind a mystical prison where she was to wait for all time. Well, thanks for that. You have been a great help. Anytime, I, can rec I, reckon I recommend a doctor for those voices though. Alright, goodbye. This is heaven. Fantastic. There's a final piece of the puzzle I've needed. I've cross-referenced the name Mahayas Medron with some other text and been able to piece together some of the history. Finally, some solid information. Indeed, it seems this isn't the first time the Temple Knights have run across Mother Malin character. Now, why doesn't that surprise me? Yes, it seems that centuries ago we discovered that a great evil has taken control of some of the most influential people in the world. That great evil was the Mother Melon. 
So what happened? Well, it took a few remaining uncorrupt nights, all that were intent to devise a method of removing sea slug possession. Wait, that means we can free those poor people who have already fallen. Once freed, the temple now pursued a great crusade to destroy the, mal the Mother Melon. Unfortunately, she was too powerful and the best they could do was trap her inside a mystical prison. It looks like she's breaking free of that prison, right? The best thing we can do is to repair or reinforce it before she escapes. Did your research reveal how she was trapped in the first place? No, I hit a brick up wall after that. We had a dragon crash land on our headquarters a few years ago and resulting fire destroyed a lot of our records. Dra that complicates things. I think the best you can do is start to look around Rich Haven, speak to some of the locals and see if there's any clues to be found. Righty-o, I'll get to it. Thanks, Seven. Don't mention it, you know. Seven, out. Ardoin. I don't know if that's how you say Ardoin, because the ending is like baloney, so it's like Ardoni, Ardoni. Ardoin, Ardoni, Ardoni. Sounds. I got used to Ardoin. <laughs> Eleanor or Nile, this is worse than we thought. I doubt that, but go on. There's something trapped under the town of Witchhaven. Something the Temple Knight fought in past in Asia's past. Something ancient and very, very evil. That's an awful big something girl. Care to be more specific Pacific? It's called the Mother Malum and may have some connection to the sea slug. Hmm, it can't be a coincidence that Maya is Reno renovating the shrine. He must be prepared to break the Mother Malum free. I agree, but what can we do about it? it might be worth speaking to the priest of Saradam and see if we got any more light to shed. Of course, the Temple of Saradam has had a shrine here for centuries. I'll get right on it. That's enough for now. Stay sharp, Carl. Are there Father Maledict. I called him mother for a second. Welcome to the family. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So Maledict. Oh no, oh no. Uh, Maledict? Oh yes, we are the Maledict. Are you feeling alright? It's nothing, it's just a little tired at the moment. So much work. So much to do. That sounds hauntingly familiar. But there's something you wanted? I wanted to ask you something about the shrine to Saradamon. Yeah? Well, I have discovered a hidden pathway leading to a shoe's pair of double doors. And? And I thought you might know something about what it behind them. Alright, oh, no. What do you mean, no? Most of the history of the shrine is contained within the Holy Book of Saradamon. We have yet to read that portion of the text. Wait, can I have a look, please? No. Again, with this no business, why not? With the three pages pertaining to the shrine's history that have been stolen. Ah, right, sorry. Would you like me to find them for you? It is imperative that you find them. I'll get on to it. Peace be with you. Oh, that's a bit... A bit much. Talk to Ezekiel Lovecraft in the fishing shop. Are you haunted too? I mean, are you possessed? Contaminated too? Yes, you are. Hello, Gengineering. How are things? Frustrating, to be honest. Sorry to hear that. Is there any way I can help? Well, I'm not sure. Brother Malik has asked me to find some pages that were torn out of his holy book. What, like this? Yes, like that, but I can't seem to find... Where in Gilead did you get that? Someone pushed it under my door just before you arrived. I went outside to see who it was, but they'd already gone by the time I got there. Strange, would you mind if I take that? Oh, oh no. Just 
gonna go to mind if I take that sure here you go thanks very much glad I could be of service anything else you need talk to the colonel oh no oh no hello Janelia there you are Jake I hope you can help me out here perhaps what is it you need well hang on a moment you're looking a bit sickly oh no they got you too didn't they are you sure there's not some elaborate deception of my part to fool them well i don't know me how can i trust you could you seek the last page of magic holy book it is right here for you that seems a tad convenient perhaps but at the end of the day it is what you need do you want it or not i'm not sure that this is a good idea but yes i'll take it Oh, well, you need to free up some space. Three items in your backpack first. Oh, gosh. Great, another complication. I didn't need. I wonder if from Pink Road or District. Don't mention it. Use. Oh, do you know? Stop. What? Right, I'm trying to glue these pages back together. Please don't use oil if it's one page on it. It will ruin it. How do I stick the pages back together? I just finished. Just try to you remember to glue that down to form a very thickly to dry clear. Here's aquatic cooking could hide long women right away. Fishing platform travel to Jeb. I'm hoping I didn't need a two. To Bailey. Wow. Oh, sorry, Janelle. I thought you were one of those fishermen. No problem. We were just surprised at all. Well, I am scared half to death out here. Well, I have something that could help you out. Really? Wait, what is it? Well, I have a page that could give me some instruction on how to eliminate what could be the source of the sea slugs. Then why haven't you used it? It's been torn up into three pieces. I have it on good authority that you may be able to help me out by rendering a sea slug down for glue. Well, you're in luck. I've been cooking a new batch of gumbo for my dinner. However, I've let it cook too long. It's been very thick and sticky. It should make a perfectly, it should make a perfect base for your glue. Ah, wow, that's good timing, wasn't it? Uncanny, really. Do you have any dead sea slug I can use? Yes, here you go. Right, I'll get to cooking. Right, here you go. That should do the trick. Thank you very much. I'll get right on to, I'll get right to work on a parchment. Good luck. You speak Move the piece correctly. Dun 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 dun. I didn't really need the guide help to this, pretty easy. But it's okay. It's getting pretty long, so. If it was more of like a puzzle box, I would have done it. It all makes sense now. Right click each place to turn pure effort. To empty vents. Wait. Right click each page to turn pure into empty vents. Mm. 
Okay, so I have to... Um... So do I go to all... I go to Lumbridge. Start off with this one. Right click on each page to turn rune into empty. to each each altar to get these done I don't know why that like didn't register in my brain for a while Just, I don't, it's very confusing but yeah you are supposed to click on right click and then press shape on each one of these And like before, it, it can fail. You attempt to craft the stone, but fail destroying the essence. So that's why you need the extra ones. Oh no, I can't. I can't enter this one yet. Is it because I haven't been there before? I don't really know how to TR work to be honest. So let's skip that one. What are mine? Earth? Dick site teleport. Pretty sure I've been to the mind one before. I wonder why it doesn't work. got the TR for mind and we're gonna craft it. Nice. We need 
need to prepare for it. Where is it actually? Oh, it's back there. Okay, we'll go to Arduin. And I'll prepare for it. Okay, so I got everything I needed. I got some bad food that I had in my in my bag just in case. So good of you to finally join us, Janari. To be honest, I never thought you'd make it this far. What, Mayor Hobbs? What's going on? Oh, come on now, Janari. Surely you're smart enough to know that you've been played for a fool. Ah, the penny drops. You got me to do your dirty work for you. Indeed, the enchantment placed on upon this door by the Temple Knight prevented anyone not working in there just from opening it. With your superb timing, our plan had been advanced quicker than we could have ever anticipated. Anticipated. And what are they? What are your plans? You'd really like to know. Well, it seems the least I can do f after you, all your hard work. Behold the beauteous visage of our beloved prince. So this is Mother Melon. <laughs> Fool, no. This is our great mother. This is not our great mother. Though I sincerely wish you had the chance to gaze upon her. Highly for you, this is, will be the last thing you ever see. I thought I needed pay it. To, like avoid attacks and stuff but mm, apparently not pretty straightforward nice oh no do you realize what you've done yes i have destroyed one of the Great evils manifesting this world, infesting this world. You fool, did you think it would be so easy? The prince will be reborn in all his glory. Now you face the true wrath of Mother Melon. Calm yourself, my child. We anticipate this eventually. Go on now and prepare the throne for our arrival. By your command, my queen. So then, Janari, it is just us. What shall we do with you? Your mind is like an open book to us. Your very essence laid bare before our sight. You have great potential, Jerry. We should destroy you now, lest least you interfere with our clan's feather. Or we could take you whole and make you an extension of our will. After millennia, this dust is almost spent and requires replacement. Yes, you will make an excellent host. Never, I'll never serve you. I shall fight until my last breath before giving in. Yes, that's it. Fight, fight with all your heart. It's always so much freedom when they resist us. No. You know, you're there. We've been having a few technical problems. Jabbit, help me, please. For the love of set them in. But the gods, I'll, like, I'll get you out of there immediately. Initiate emergency teleport. Come with us, Janari. Come and be with us for all eternity. Nope, 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 nope. Big nope. Jabbit. She's blocking my magic one second, I'll try something else. Ah, you know, it's useless to resist. Now we shall become as one. Seven, now would be a good time. I think I've got this. Just one more second. <sighs> Do you know you're there? Do you know you're okay? Please to me. <sighs> yes, seven. That was too close for comfort. Thanks, Sarah, but I mean, 
we thought we'd lost you there for a moment. I think you're better off to, to talk to Sir Tiffy about this. Indeed, I'll just get my breath back first. That was a bit much. Though I kind of wanted to see what would happen. I jolly good show getting on to the white night. What? Now, how can I help you, old girl? Not minutes. Greetings, you know. Anything to report? So Tiffy's all done hope, move on. Nonsense, old bean, it can't be as bad as that. Why don't you relax a little and tell Sir Tiffy what's wrong, hmm? The town of Witch Haven has been overrun by mind controlling sea slugs. Hmm, go on. Well, the mayor of town was first, then Brother Maledict, and finally Colonel O'Neill. Oh dear, that's a shame. Please go on. Well, they tricked me into opening the prison that kept the queen imprisoned. Ah, uh, the Mother Melon. Dear, oh dear, this isn't good news at all. Well, it isn't all bad. I managed to kill the prince. Excellent, that should delay her plan somewhat. If she follows the same pattern as last time, the important figures of Gillenor will be at her, will be her next target. That cannot, uh, that cannot be allowed to happen. What do we do about it? I think we're going to have to increase our surveillance somewhat. Seeing as you already have a familiarity with the sea slugs, I'm going to place you personally in charge of this mission. If you think I'm ready for it, Sir Sophie? Of course you are, old girl. Now you need to access some of the more restricted resources of the Temple Knights. So with immediate effect, I'm promoting you within the Temple Knights. Congratulations. I only wish it was under be better circumstances. Now I'm on it. Tish, pish, tish, pa, pashal, and nonsense. It's time you were rewarded for your work. Now with this promotion comes some new responsibilities. In due time, you will have to access the Temple Knight headquarters. But for now, we need to collate information and plan ahead. Report back to me in a little while and I'll have some new tasks for you. Yes, sir. I'll keep my eyes open for any signs of sea slug infiltration. Good stuff, old girl. Oh, and Carl O'Neill has been placed in our disavowed list. He should be considered extremely dangerous and needs to be killed on sight. Right, no problem. Well, I'll see you soon. Ta-ta, Bean. Dun, dun. So we got one quest point, 3.5k crafting XP, 3.5k room crafting XP, 3.5k thieving XP, and permission to proselyte. So where do exactly do we get porcelain? Is it from this guy? But how do I? What do I need? Let me Google. Porcelain can be obtained after completing the sea slug minute purchases from. Oh, you can purchase it from him. You need. The requirement for wearing the set along with defense level of 30 and prayer level of 20. Oh, that's easy. Got that. Now oh, we can buy it from GE. Actually, I want to see how much she's selling it for. Okay, they're all definitely cheaper on GE. Initiate fossil. Oh, fossil here. Yeah. Yep, they're still definitely cheaper on GE. Okay. I'll grab them there. So we got our proselyte armor here and I bought it from GE because it was a lot cheaper and we like it cheap here <laughs> but it has good defense bonus as well as it does have 
prayer, which is great. So happy that we got something new for our account. Um, and yeah, so it was a pretty long one today, but I wanted to try something new. Let me know if you liked it or didn't in the comment below. And if you liked it, please leave a like. And thank you for joining me on this journey. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a fruitful day. Bye bye.